Welcome to Irwin Data Model Tutorial. In this session, we'll be discussing about um, name hardening. Name hardening is a mechanism in Irwin Data Modeler wherein you can lock the objects from being modified uh, because of the change in naming standards or um, uh, by the developer accidentally changing uh, the name in the uh, logical side and automatically that being changed on the uh, physical side. So I'll be showing a demonstration on the name hardening. So on the logical. So if I didn't implement uh, naming name hardening yet, so if I go to the logical and I change the name of the table entity to student one two three, and you would immediately see that reflected on the physical side. Now let me do. the name hardening. What I'll do is I'll go to actions, manage name hardening and I go to the type selection and I select everything and uh, all after selecting the types of object I select literally the objects that I want to harden. In this case I'm going to select everything and in the action I'll select these once more. Uh, this screen differs in the sense that if once I harden the objects and I run this wizard once again wherever you see the uh, checkboxes already checked in if you uncheck it it will unharden the names right now since all of them are not hardened I'm hardening the names and I click apply and I click close now when I go to the physical now and I go and check table properties you see this icon has a lock here that means name is hardened the inherit is the default and because of the wizard we have hardened it we can harden the names through the wizard or you can just select an object and right click on the model anywhere and you can say harden the physical names now you can selectively unharden the physical names like you select the objects here and you can unharden them here or I'll, I'll show through the wizard again how you unharden the names now now that we have hardened the names let me show you that we cannot change the name of the objects any longer uh, the, the link between the logical and the physical model is broken now because we have hardened it so I'm changing the name of the logical to say student 1 2 3 here and the physical side of this is not changed because we have hardened it now let me try once again uh, this is directly changing the logical model the other way is actually I, I set the naming standards so I already have the naming standards I didn't set them active so now what I'm doing is I'm setting them active right and I close this I go to action model naming options ensure that all these are checked and I click OK and now in a, in, a, in a typical scenario what should have happened is all these words should have been abbreviated they are not abbreviated because I have hardened the names now let's unharden the names I'll show two ways where I selectively go to each object here and unharden it I go to entity properties here uh, sorry I just uh, since I hardened the physical ones I just go to the physical table I click on table properties and I go here and I say inherit and I click close and there you go it immediately has used the naming standards and it has abbreviated the name okay now let's instead of uh, changing each and clicking each and every object and uh, checking the inheritance let's go and do it for all the objects using manage name hardening so I go to type selection here uh, select all and in the object selection also I'll select all in the action what I'll do is I'll uncheck everything so what it does now is it will unharden the names if I check them it will harden them if I uncheck them it will unharden them I can also selectively uh, check the objects here like in here I can go and say that I want to consider only these objects for either hardening or unhardening so let me uncheck these 
and I click apply apply close right and now uh, my model is uh, basically you think it's unhardened so why didn't the naming standards kick in and my objects uh, uh, you know why didn't they get abbreviated so let me show you uh, how I applied the naming standards and it's active and I'll also show here uh, that naming name options even the glossary is checked in so why is it not abbreviated that's because when you unharden the names you expect them to go back to the inheritance but what it does is it goes to the override so basically one is inheritance this is the default and when you harden it it's this is the icon that shows up on the entity or attribute or any other object and this is the override so all the objects now are in override see I click on anything and it's in the override and override is basically an option wherein you are not using the inheritance and you are uh, using you are deviating from the standard and you are creating something and you uh, say here I want to create course 1 to 3 and you see here it's course 1 to 3 uh, so now how do we restore the inheritance if you want to right one way to restore inheritance to all of them is I go click each and every attribute and say inherit and this is a tedious process right and there is one other approach because um, all all the objects in my model are uh, hardened them and now I wish to unharden and as a result restore the inheritance back uh, so most of the time this is what you're left with where you have to go to the object and uh, restore the inheritance or the other way would be you go to um, manage uh, sorry model naming options and you go to this option here under name mapping tab you have reset names if you go in here select the type of objects that you want to uh, reset the names and you click OK here so what it does is it goes back to each and every object and it restores the default state which is the inheritance it has reset all the connections by hardening you have broken the connection between the logical and the physical and now that you have reset it you have restored all the connections back uh, to the normal state so uh, let me go and show you one example if, now if you see this the, the inheritance is restored so to summarize you can harden the names thereby uh, I mean isolating these objects from being modified because of the change in the logical name or because of the new naming standards and the second thing is once you unharden a name it leaves the object in override uh, state instead of inherited state so in order to inherit restore the inheritance you have to go to each object and physically go and select the inherit or if you have uh, you know all the objects of I mean you can go to the action uh, more model naming options and reset the names but this will reset all the objects in your model and not just the selected ones uh, with this I conclude the session on uh, name hardening uh, thanks a lot for watching